Hello everyone and in this video we're going to be walking through how to frame guardrail posts on a deck so our deck is at least 10 feet off the ground here and so you want to make sure you frame these correctly so that the people who use this deck will be safe and it's up to code so we'll get into it so the very first thing to note is you've got three types of posts you have corner posts you're going to have end posts like this which are going to be touching your end joist and then you have intermediate posts which are going to be running along your band joist we'll start with the corner post i think it's the most complicated um, because it has to be able to handle forces in two directions this way and this way so like if someone's trying to run and push off the deck they're going to be pushing this way and this way so the way you frame these is i'm using a four by four and i have two by ten uh lumber and so you're going to have two sets of blocking here. So I've got two two by tens stacked together, screwed them together with uh, three inch deck screws. And then we have a off cut of a four by four blocking. And so that is how we are stabilizing this in both directions. So when I push this way, it's going to want to make the post rotate that way. And so the blocking right here is uh, going to be resisting that. So we've got your four by four right here. And then in terms of the fasteners that you're supposed to use, <clears throat> I'm using the Timberlock fasteners. I'm using eight inch and six inch fasteners. And so with these uh, eight inch fasteners, you can see that you drive two of them through your end joist, through your four by four blocking and into your two, two by 10 blocking, or it could be two by eight or two by six, depending on what your deck is. Um, and so you get two of those in this four by four right here. And then you also have your guardrail post having an additional two of these eight inch structural screws holding it into this block right here so that when this thing tries to rotate this way, it's being resisted by this block and it's transferring that twisting motion into these blocks right here and this block right here. And then for the deck force where someone's pushing against it, this way towards the end joist you've got your two two by tens right here and then um basically it's trying to make all of these guys rotate like that so to resist that rotation you use two six inch structural screws in both of your two by ten uh blocking and that is how we're protecting people from falling off this way of the deck. In my case, because I'm doing picture framing, I am using an L70 right here, or an L90, um, and that's to support these deck boards after I installed the blocking like this. But that is the final product for a corner post. Now, when we move on to a intermediate post, which is gonna be along our band joist, like this, the main force it's having to resist is someone pushing off this direction. So to stabilize it, we have, again, two two by tens, but they're not sandwiched together. They're on either side of the uh, post. And then you have an additional four by four blocking behind it. And so you take your fasteners and you screw the six inch, two six inch structural screws into your blocking on either side. And you can't see it because my L70 is covering it up, but um, there are two eight inch or six inch screws going through this and that's what's stopping this thing from being pushed over that way and then finally we have our end posts the force we're trying to resist is someone pushing off this way and so these are the simplest you just take two of your uh, two by tens or whatever lumber you're using and again you come in with your six inch structural screws two per board so you've got four here four here and then you drive two eight inch screws through your end joist the four by four guardrail posts and then into these two blocks so that as you push it's trying to rotate this whole thing but it's being resisted by the blocks as well as your joist so all that load's being transferred uh to make this very strong connection so that it's safe for people that is how you frame this stuff and I hope this helps, but it is a big safety thing. I've seen a lot of decks where it's absolutely not built this way, but this is what up to code looks like. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. Take it easy and be well.